Hey, what's going on, everybody? What is up? Welcome back. Today, I have another video. And today, or yesterday, I came out with the video about the calculator 2.0 and where I had started making it. Today, I have a um, follow up video to some work I've been doing on it since yesterday. So, um, I got first start off, I got all of the everything pretty much hooked up to show the numbers. I've got um, all these rails up here which are going to be the different numbers for the answers of each equation. There's a hundred of them in total. And I've got these extra ones down here so I don't have to round wire all the way up there if they're simple numbers. And I have hooked up all of the display there are seven segment controllers to these and I've got all of the logic gates hooked up so I can do one problem now I have one problem now hooked up just to test and it should be the longest um, number, like it's at the very very end, so it should be the longest one to calculate in terms of time. So you'll make sure that there's not a torch down here. I think there is. All right. So, as you guys can see, <clears throat> I've got 9 times 0 in, and it's coming out of 0. So, this one is going to be um, a lot more difficult than my last one I tried, because there's so many different possible numbers with division. So, it has to be a lot more complicated. So, um, got these up on the top hooked up to So, it takes around eight times nine. So, So it takes around uh, 8 seconds. And that one's going to be the longest one because it's all the way down at the end. So um, I'll get you guys back as soon as I have some more work done. Because now all I have to do is basically each one of these individual outputs here have to be ran up to one of these 100 white bars or one of those purple and orange so there's 400 different ones individually <clears throat> so you can see a lot how many wires it's going to have to be ran through here so the first one it's powered up it's the 9 times 0 and it goes over here Runs down along through here. Spectators will be quicker. And then runs up here into this one. And then it goes down. Inverts there. And then goes into this one, which is the number zero on the first segment so it's a pretty simple concept it's just there's so much 
to it. It's complicated. It seems complicated at least, but if you look at the big picture, it's just a pretty simple machine. Cause there's no observers, nothing. I'm doing it at 1.12, so there's nothing really any newer than what I'm using here. So, Alright, I'll get you guys back as soon as I got this thing hooked up.